Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Percy Julian, born April 11, 1899, Montgomery, Alabama, U.S., died April 19, 1975, Walkergan, Illinois, was an American chemist known for his synthesis of cortisone, hormones, and other products from soybeans. Point five black chemists who changed the world. Five black chemists who changed the world. Percy Julian, Mae Jemison, Patricia Bath, Betty Harris, and George Washington Carver are five black chemists who changed the world. See all videos for this article. Percy Julian attended DePaul University, AB, 1920, and Harvard University, MA. 1923, and studied under Ernst Spath, who synthesized nicotine and ephedrine, at the University of Vienna, Ph.D., 1931. Julian also taught chemistry at Fisk University, West Virginia State College for Negroes, and Howard and DePauw Universities before, in 1936, directing research into soybeans at the Glidden Company in Chicago. He became director of chemicals development there before leaving in 1953 to found his own companies. In his researches Julian isolated simple compounds in natural products, then investigated how those compounds were naturally altered into chemicals essential to life, including vitamins and hormones. He then attempted to create the compounds artificially. Early in his career Julian attracted attention for synthesizing the drug physostigmine used to treat glaucoma. He refined a soya protein that became the basis of aerofoam, a foam fire extinguisher used by the US Navy in World War II. He led research that resulted in quantity production of the hormones progesterone, female, and testosterone, male, and of cortisone drugs. In 1950 Julian, an African-American, was named Chicago's Man of the Year in a Chicago Sun-Times poll but his home was bombed and burned when he moved to the all-white suburb of Oak Park. He was active as a fundraiser for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, for their project to sue to enforce civil rights legislation. In 